Hey, at the end with me, Shubham from Blender File as usual. <laughs> and this is just a note concept. And yeah, we are doing with the textures. And it's been uh, three days we have not recorded a single tutorial. And so we are clubbing checker and brick uh, together. And also, you know, some problems we noticed that are, you know, uh, the way we were doing the tutorials earlier were, you know, by grouping them according to their, uh, what do we call that? Yeah, output. But yeah, um, that's a bit weird. So now we'll be, you know, making the tutorials as they are grouped by, you know, the way it is over here. So we'll be doing the textures, all the textures together, then the color, then converters, then we'll do the input and vector. And lastly, we'll do these because these are useless. Huh. Really. Yeah. Right, so today we have the checker texture first and the brick texture next. And yeah, the brick texture is basically an advanced checker texture with more things to play with. And instead of connecting the color to the diffuse, if you have your uh, node wrangler enabled, you just press Ctrl, Shift, and left click. And what it will do is uh, add in this viewer node. So it's basically a machine with a color which goes, you know, which this output goes over there in the input, and that's basically it. And uh, yeah, we don't need that cube. <laughs> so we'll do it again. So we'll be making a chessboard like thing, and uh, yeah, so what you should do is <laughs> add in. <laughs> Add in a plane and press S to scale it and 8 and enter. And then add in a oh well, no, new material, just select this over there. And this here is the plate. Oops. Uh, shift and, and there it is. So nice looking checker texture. So yeah, there are four inputs. One is the vector, so you know if you don't have vector input, we won't be displaying the vector over here. It will generate one by itself so that's the good thing and then there is this color two color input so it basically is the you know two colors which are there in your boat so this you can say something like that and this so every alternate checker box gets a color and the scale is you know, the more the scale is you know, uh, more the boxes will be so the size will decrease a and the press scale and A and the 8 over there you can see it's a nice checkerboard so we can play you can use it for making a chessboard like thing oh, if you're making that's a trick you can do save your polys so that's basically the checker texture let's move on to the brick so press shift s and change it to the brick away boom ah that's a huge gigantic node <laughs> and yeah you can see already you can you know, figure out this is black and white 1950s TV <laughs> brick and uh, so many things to play around with so hopefully there are three color inputs so a uh, color one gives complete you know these white spots and a two which you know it's like a gradient between this color one and color two, which is uh, controlled by this bias factor. So yeah, right. So huh, that was weird. So firstly, the offset. So it actually you know offsets the brick, and if you see making it one, so now the bricks are not all offset to each other. And if I change this. Yeah, it offsets the rows actually. So, you know, frequency of two means the second. Uh, I mean, every alternate row will get affected by the offset value, and making it zero makes them completely aligned. Huh. And making them one, it just shifts them. You can see over there, little bit of shift, and that thing. So basically, put it 0.5. That's frequency if you change that and now if you play around with the offset you can see every fifth row is getting affected by the offset so that's the thing set it to two as well and if you want to set it to one that 
basically useless. So <laughs> everyone is getting affected. Then there's the scratch. So it actually does is this. It it uh, stretches the bricks, and the frequency does the same thing. Uh, selects the alternate amount uh, or alternate brick to scratch. Last thing, put it back to 0.5. Uh, I guess no, I'll put that. Of two is good, and I'll set back two point five. And then there's this color. Let's see, blue. And second color, let's see something around the red or orange. So you can see there is a change in the color. So from blue to red, it goes, and there's a lot of you know in between colors that gets changed. So from here to here, it, there are lots and lots of many colors over there. Then there's the scale, what it does is the same thing. Oh yeah, so I forgot the motor. <laughs> Thanks for reminding. So motor is that black line over there. So you know when you see a brick wall, that cement between the bricks, that's what the motor is. So yeah, grey color something black or something. So. And there's the scale, so yeah, the same thing. The bigger the scale the more you will see the bricks. And, oh that's nice, it's a nice texture. <laughs> And yeah, more scale, more the bricks. I mean, bigger the bricks, right? Then there is this motor size, so it controls the size of this black motor. Ooh. And yeah, so it goes very fast. Oops. Let's see, 0 0.05, and that is real thick. And you know, 0 0.005, that's it. Well, that's the thing, you can just play around with that. And uh, oh, that's and then there's the bias. So this controls uh, how the gradient will work between the red and blue transition. So making it minus one keeps it only the color one, which is blue, and making it one makes it only you know the biasing goes to the red color, and zero makes it completely you know unbiased, fifty percent thing like that, and you can just play around with this get uh, the correct thing you want, so yeah, that's the thing. Then there's the brick width and row height. So the brick width is increasingly, I don't know, it's very much similar to this crash of frequency 1. That does the same stuff. Weird thing. So yeah, that's the brick width. Play around with that. Brick width actually, you know, Change the width of every brick where the scratch actually uses a frequency, so it changes uh, alternate ones. So yeah, that's the difference. That's why there are two separate things. <laughs> then the row height it make uh, it changes the height of the brick. So that's the thing. Oh, you can understand. It's very much self-explanatory. You can just you know basically brick texture by default is very much it ready for use. And uh, well, I guess that's basically the brick texture. And uh, is there, oh yeah, that's better. I missed that. So yeah, missed. <laughs> Needs to be missed right now. And there's also factor output. So boom, that's useless. <laughs> and I've looked that into color. And uh, yeah, that is one of the few times when you you know connect to what are these called. Uh, no, not the input. Uh, wait a sec. What are these called? Sockets. Yeah, the sockets, right? So these are called sockets, actually. Yeah, I figured that out recently. And yeah, so a gray socket I goes in. A gray socket color goes into the color like that, and things like that. So, yep. That's the thing. So, yeah, the white color goes. In. I don't know how the fact is working. Never mind. So that's basically the uh, checker and the brick texture. And yeah, I hope you liked it. And uh, also, yeah, sorry for being late. We were busy around Connor and I was working for the weekly PG challenge. And Shubham was actually you know, making the documentation. Yeah, right. So that's a big news. So uh, Shubham is actually trying to update the documentation over here. Let me show you. So 
Uh, yeah, uh, she was actually trying to update the documentation because it sucks really bad. So mostly he's working with uh, uh, compositing. I know it's his, his job. Uh, completely lost. Yeah, so everything is trying to do over there. Yeah, so like this, uh, no, not yet. I think that's a really big move. <laughs> yeah, so these things need to have uh, documentation on a manual which is not updated. So he's trying to update that, and that's really cool. If it gets updated, if it gets updated, we'll be posting about that in our Blender file page on Facebook. So you can follow us on Facebook at facebookcom slash file and I hope you learned something. Do subscribe to stay tuned and we hope to see you in our next video. Bye!